So today, Jared and I are doing something we've never done before. Archery. <laughs> We're going to do some archery. My sister got Jared and I and my other sisters an archery lesson. And so we're heading there now. I'm really excited, I've never been. And then Jared says he has a surprise later on, but before that, he's gonna take you guys on this Hot Wheels hunt of the day. So I'm pretty stoked to see what he comes up with. Hopefully he finds some good stuff. And then we are going to do an herb garden. I don't know if you guys watched our uh, last vlog, I believe it was, but we put together some herbs. So we thought, why not add to our little garden? So uh, stay tuned to see how we do in our archery and how the day goes. All right, guys, we're super close to the archery spot. Of course, Jared over here had to get his Starbucks drink. Had to get some caffeine in me. Poor dude. Let's show us your gear. Wrist guard, make sure that I don't get string burn, you know? Got my little finger in that action right there. Your finger thingy? I feel like that one wasn't that great, but the other one was really good. Sounds really good. Do you want to hear us? I love. They're talking because I'm tall. That's evidently. because you're tall. <laughs> <laughs> See what we got. Not bad. Like I killed it, as in I did really, really good, and then I literally killed it and did good up towards the end. I feel like I did pretty okay. You did really good. You know what I mean? Being modest they, a little bit. People cheering him on, I know, because he's bald, because he's tall. Who knows why he's good? But if they have other things, if they have something else there. There was one kind of cool thing that I missed. I wanted to get a shot of. <laughs> All right, so we're heading out of the archery spot. Yes, we're done. I think we both did an amazing job. You were going. I, I need some work. You were going in with the prediction that you got me on this one. Do you feel like your prediction was accurate? No, I think I just needed to uh, bend my arm a little bit. Oh my gosh, just a second here. This is the infamous. Uh, Look at that precious dog. Can I pet him? Yeah. His name's Toby. Hi, Toby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> His little tail. Ready for some hunting? So we did the archery thing, and now it's time for me to do a little bit of hunting on a different caliber. I'm in a new area. I haven't really gone to any of my hot spots in this city just of yet. We're actually in Fullerton. So Sandy and her sisters are going to go ahead and have a nice lunch. I'm going to take you guys along with me on some hunting in some new territory. Let's do it. All right. So we are ready to hunt. We are going to Target. Shout out to Target. And Target typically doesn't have a whole lot, but they do have a good variety. They have the Hot Wheels, of course. They have Matchbox. They have my favorite, which is Auto World. And uh, they all have chases. So hopefully we find a chase in here. Let's see how it goes. All right, we are in the car section officially and no one else is here, which is a good sign. We're gonna go ahead and start off. We have the Johnny Lightnings. So these guys have several kinds of chases. Typically what you're looking for is those wheels to be white right there. The wheels ain't white. Then you ain't really got nothing. They actually have four packs. I don't see any of them here. But when it comes to auto world, they have several kinds of chases. They have one that's called a raw. And if you find a raw in the four pack, you're looking at like a couple thousand bucks. So that's definitely the holy grail. Kind of a cool little van. 
These are called pink slips. Don't really collect those. I don't even really look at them. We've got some more Johnny Lightnings. The cool thing is these will tell you how many of them were made. It's hard to tell what I'm focusing on, to be honest with you, but it'll actually tell you it's like one of however many. Some monster trucks, some matchboxes. So with matchbox, the secret is you look for the ones without these white squares. If they don't have the white square, you find yourself a super chase. So as you can see, even just looking up there, they all have white squares. So you're not gonna find nothing here. So we're looking for a Camaro and we're looking for, I believe it is a bus. I could be wrong. I really am not looking for anything from this case. It's a mainline, which would be like the non-desirables. Am I the first one to them? Probably not. And whenever you see them stacked up like that, it's usually a sign someone else has been here and they've looked through them, but not to be discouraged. You never know if it was just a little kid or something that was putting them there. Also, if you know what you're looking for, the easiest way is you just look at the bottoms and you see if you find the name of what you're looking for. It's like up here on top, you know? I could already tell that there's nothing there that I'm looking for. So it's looking like Target is very unfruitful at the moment, but I didn't, uh, I didn't look at the premiums. The premiums are gonna be like the more expensive versions or, you know, these they have like these cool dual packs right here, but I don't really collect the dual packs. I try to keep it to like a dollar for whatever I'm getting. And then these are called NASCAR Authentics. And if you look there on the back, it'll actually tell you which one you're looking for. So we're looking for a Carvana Chase in this, which I do not see. No Carvanas. Matchbox also has the five packs you can see there. It's all kind of cool, you know? So as per usual, Target does not deliver on anything that I actually want to buy. I think I've bought in like maybe two cars at all from Target, maybe five at max. And it was at a location that was in a city that was like in the bumfuck middle of nowhere where I don't think anybody's even buying Hot Wheels. And even then they didn't have much, but shout out to Target. Target's always a fun spot. However, it was not fruitful today. So I think the next spot we're going to go to is I'm going to take you guys with Dollar Tree. We're here. Let's see what they got to offer us at this Dollar Tree. All right, we are here at the toy section and it appears that they got some Hot Wheels as well as maybe one Matchbox. Let's see, but you never know. It only takes one, right? And as you can see, they all have these white boxes. There's no Super Chases or anything I'm looking for. As far as Hot Wheels go, let's see here. This is actually a pretty cool one. A lot of people are looking for that or at least a lot of people buy it when they find it. I happen to have a few already, so I'm gonna leave that. Nothing there, nothing there. Nothing, 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 nothing. Looks like they ain't got shit here. Walk down the aisle a little bit sometimes. They'll have them in multiple spots, so you gotta keep your eye out for them. It does look like that is all the Hot Wheels and all the Matchbox that they have. So we're gonna go ahead and head out of here, but I did notice there is a Walmart right across the street. So we're gonna go ahead and head to Walmart. And then after that, there is one more location that I'm trying to take you guys today. So let's do it. All right, so we are at Walmart. I believe a gentleman just yelled something at me out of his car. Who knows, maybe he knows I'm here for the hunt and he's also here. Walmart also seems to be like the most hunted spot that you could find probably besides Dollar Tree. Let's go in and see what they got. So they definitely got a ton of Hot Wheels here if you can't already see. Tons of them. I don't even know if I wanna go through all these to be honest with you. And typically whenever you find them like this where they're on this wall, they've been taken out of like a dump bin. So it's usually the stuff that's already been picked over but let's do a little bit of digging and see what they got. I mean, just as a and there's three sides of this thing. So what I'll typically do, because I know what I'm looking for, is I'll just kind of go down the sides and see if I could see any of the ones that uh, I want. I could already tell there's really nothing here, but you know. So this is gonna be M case. This one is a treasure hunt, depending on what case it comes out of. However, I don't believe that's the case that we're looking for or it's not from the case we're looking for, better yet. Yeah, I can tell that there's nothing here already just by a quick scoop. Let's go ahead and find where the other Hot Wheels are. So we have found the main aisle where they reside. Again, you could kind of tell by the car conditions and everything that these are probably older stock. However, you always want to look through and just see if there's anything cool. When it comes to Walmart, they also offer what's called the Zamic edition, which is like an all metal car, which is always cool to find. I found a couple of those. However, this is just all the same stuff. These are all just main lines that people left behind. A matchbox. That's a cool one. If I didn't have it, I'd buy it. 
Let's see what they got for matchbox. What I typically do is I'll just move the peg like that. And then you can see all the way down. They all got white. It's all right. Next time, yay. I also like to collect the ones with these white cards, but I already have all that set. Pro tip, you also wanna make sure you look at the top because sometimes they'll hide the good stuff on the top. Here we got, so these would be like the premium editions. You could tell because it's gold on the top right there. They have like cool character ones, stuff from movies. However, nothing I'm looking for. More than NASCARs, let's see which one. We're looking for the Carvana, which I already have, so I don't really care. This one, we're looking for the speed code, you can see right there, which is gonna be that blue car right in the uh, front. Number 38, which would be this one right here. So it's possible we have found ourselves a chase. However, it's not in like a bright paint. So if it's not in the bright paint, then it's just a regular one. These are the M2s. I don't really collect those, but they do make chase versions of these cars where they have like gold and all kinds of cool colors going on. I'll look through them just to see, but not overly interested in the M2s. This is actually a set that a lot of people are, uh, are into, but I really don't buy the ones that are like the four packs. Another Forza right here. As a hunter, whenever you find something, you try to put it back where it goes. Make it fun for everybody. And as we go down, we have Jay's Garage. At one time, that was a hard one to find. But looking down, I'm gonna call it a bust on this uh, Walmart, which is typically the case. Walmart, I mean, people will hang out here and wait for them to restock. And the second they restock, they take them. So it's gonna be very rare that you find anything. But let's get going off to our next spot. It's gonna be our last location of the day. One of my personal favorites, just because it's very well organized. They have a bunch of the cool, more premium style cars. My favorite, of course, the Auto World. So the last spot I want to take you guys to on this journey is going to be a Hobby Lobby. Unfortunately, there is no Hobby Lobby too close to where I am. So I do want to get home soon and, uh, you know, hang out with the puppos a little bit before we go off on our next adventure. So I'm going to start heading towards the house. And then once I get maybe halfway there, I'm going to see if there is a Hobby Lobby anywhere near. And if not, there is one close to the crib. So we'll just go ahead and go to that one. So I was able to find a Hobby Lobby lobby ironically i think it's the one that i went to like two days ago for the first time they had a bunch of cool stuff nothing that i was necessarily interested in no chases no super hunts or nothing like that but you know they do get restocks quite often so let's see if today they got anything new for us so this is in fact the hobby lobby that i went to for the first time the other day but like i said let's see if they got anything new there's always room for a surprise in life right let's go into hobby lobby we don't need automatic doors if you're looking to like decorate your house with some unique cool stuff, Hobby Lobby's always the place to go. Just so you guys know. I'm sure Sandy would love that. Hobby Lobby's also typically always have the cars in the same spot. However, this one had them in a different location. So maybe it's good I've already been here because I know exactly where to go for them. All right, so here is the wall at the Hobby Lobby where they got the cars. As you can see, a bunch of cool stuff here. You got a few green lights. Let's see here. Nothing there. Some Johnny Lightnings. We don't see any white wheels, so nothing special there. M2s. These are kind of cool ones that are like drinks. They have Coke and Dr. Pepper and all those uh, brands. Maui and Sons. First kind of skateboard I ever bought. I would love to find something like this that has the trailer that we have. All the stuff that they had last time, so I don't think I'm going to see anything new. However, you always want to check. These are rad little trailers. Actually got one from my dad for Christmas as he helped us with our trailer. We're gonna move on to my favorite. Actually, the only Auto World Chase besides the 7-Eleven one I ever found was at a Hobby Lobby. One of these electric slot car units. Nothing there. Dropping everything. Now this would be a rad one to find because it's a Hot Wheels Auto World collaboration. If it had white wheels, we'd definitely buy that one. Looney Tunes. These are pretty cool. All right, so same stuff we saw last time. Nothing really new here. Nothing that I'm looking for necessarily, but nonetheless, guys, that is a Hobby Lobby. As you can see, they're very well organized. A lot of good variety. And you know, like I said, it's really the only spot I've ever found uh, one of the Auto World chases. So I always come back thinking I might be able to uh, have lightning strike twice. And then right here, they do have one last section. They have these cool like Matchbox helicopters. Not, you know, not something that I get necessarily, but if it was a super chase, I'd be into it. Not to sound like a Custy, but you know, it is what it is. Tech decks, shout out to Rugrat. My buddy collects tech decks. I don't, however, but if I ever see a cool one, 
I definitely pick it up for him. He likes the DGK ones. Let's get home to these puppies now. Hopefully you guys enjoy the hunt and I'll see you guys with Sandy as we start our herb garden. So I'm back from lunch with my sisters and Jared is back from hunting. I'm back and I, and I, and I noticed when I was hunting, there are certain things that I left out a little bit as far as like how to tell which Hot Wheels are valuable and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a few clips after this, going over my current collection, the special ones I have. And I'll give you guys more info, so not to worry, okay? I'm gonna give you guys more details. Yeah, if you guys are stressing about what to find, what to search for, it's gonna hook you guys up. I got your back like a bra strap. <laughs> and now it is time for my surprise. And I thought it would be kind of cool, kind of like a Vlogmas throwback to when we did the pizza review at 7-Eleven, which by the way, I know it's Mike Portanoy, not Dave Portanoy, but there's a new pizza spot in town that's fucking amazing, and you'll never believe where it's at. You'll definitely never believe where it's at. I'm still, I think, in shock, because I can't imagine it's any good, but Jared is saying it's like the best, so who knows? I don't know if it's a lack of just pizzerias in our area, and I don't <laughs> want to offend the ones that are local to us here, but it's the best pizza you can get probably within at least five five to 10 miles of the house. Well, we do have a pizza kitchen, I believe it's called. Yeah. Or no, but the, what is a pizza factory? The pizza factory. Yeah, yeah that's kind of like a whatever. I haven't even eaten either, so hey, maybe they have the best pizza. I don't know. But as of right now, as far as what I've tried, she's about to have her mind blown. I can't wait to get my mind blown because he told me where it's at and I, I don't believe it. I, I'm gonna say it, he's wrong, but let's see. So before we show, why don't you leave in the comments where you think, and you're gonna see in seconds here, <laughs> but maybe pause the video, leave in the comments the weirdest place that we could possibly go for pizza right now and uh, see if anybody's right. Yeah, and also if you guys have maybe like a chain store that you guys think has the best pizza, also leave that in the comments and then maybe we'll have to check it out to see if it's in competition against Jared's best pizza place. Ain't no one competing with this. I I'm telling <laughs> you, it's amazing. I I just can't wait. We'll be there shortly, so stick okay. around. All right, we are approaching. See if anyone got it right. What is that? Well, it's definitely not an In-N-Out. Definitely not an In-N-Out. In-N-Out does Mike. not have pizza. Or Jersey Mike's. Wait. The pumps here? <laughs> are we at a gas station? <laughs> it's so gross. Are we at a Circle K? <laughs> No way. Absolutely. So you're, you're saying the best pizza is in Circle K. I don't know how they did it, but yes, Circle K. I'm mind blown. I don't think this is going to work. You don't think they're going to have pizza? I don't think it's going to be good pizza. Okay, let's see. I'm excited to prove her wrong. <laughs> you see that, right? Homemade pizza all day. Man, that guy was walking out with you a smell slice it? of pizza. Did you smell oh, it? Wow, it's over there. I'm going to try one of these. The breadsticks look Dang, good. all of a sudden, she's all excited. Look at that. The flavors. Dang. Which one are you gonna get? What are you thinking? Has your mind changed at all? Are you feeling like this could work? I'm curious. I'm curious now, you know what I'm saying? These are she's pretty a, good slices. She's intrigued. So I think I'm gonna have a pineapple one. Okay. And then possibly just maybe like a plain cheese. Cause I think that's how you can tell which one's like a pretty good pizza place. That's a pro talking. And also you guys gotta check out the uh, the breadsticks. Ooh. Oh look, it's a stromboli. They don't have them there, but I think these are the breadsticks. Oh yeah. So the pizza's coming out of the oven right now. Gotta sanitize my hands, get my hands ready. Also, you gotta drink, you know? Where do we get? Some Coke Zero. I also might have a little chocolate chip cookie in my pocket. You know, it's just for later. I'll probably eat like a quarter of it. All right, next thing you know, we'll be outside trying this pizza. Forgot to mention that we brought the puppos with us. Shout out to Harper. She's actually locked me out of this car numerous times when I left her in it. <laughs> All right. The moment of truth. Well, I want to try the breadsticks first. No, 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 no. You got to try the pizza first. Okay. You got to try the pizza first. You don't want to have my palate tainted with breadsticks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. also, like, it comes out the freshest, and you got to just get it done. Ooh, so you want to take a look at that? All right. Stop playing with me. You know, it's the best. You know, it's the best. I don't know if it's the best, but... All right, and when you grade it, you have to give it a decimal. Okay. So something got point it. something. Dang, I saw an eyebrow lift. Let's get a score here. Oh, oh, air flute, air flute. Wow. Was I playing with you or what? Or was I being I'm gonna serious? give that a 7.8. What did, do you remember what you gave the 7-Eleven? I don't remember. It was Six? like a five, maybe. <laughs> oh, the pizza, yeah, because it was old. Okay. It was disgusting. But no, that was way better than 7-Eleven pizza. Okay, so, right, let's, so try, let's try breadsticks. Oh, oh, okay, well, no, 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 I like that. Cheese, cheese pizza, go for it, go for it. 
Dang, just look at that. And I don't know that. if it looks, it doesn't look greasy the way the other one, oh, especially not the one that 7-Eleven had. Yeah, 7-Eleven. That was like super bad. I love 7-Eleven, but their pizza's boof. <laughs> okay, dang, right. look at the no flop. All right, try it out. Nice and toasty. Ooh, that's gonna be a high score, I know it. Well, I think I got the super burnt part. <laughs> super crisp. Ooh. Wow. Okay, we just had a random encounter with a Holy dragonfly. Moly. There's a dragonfly encounter. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, not as impressed by the cheese pizza. Understandable, understandable. I don't understand, but some might. Okay. So you gave the other one like a 7.6 or something like that, I forgot. But what do you say I'm to cheese? I'm gonna give cheeses? this one, the Hawaiian, a 7.8. Ooh, a 7.8, monster score. The cheese, I'm gonna give that one a 6.4. Okay, okay, now let's try the breadstick. I feel like the breadstick was almost the thing you were most excited about here. Because I feel like the breadsticks are like key, you know? You guys wanna take a look at that? Dang, look at the goo. I mean, and it's nice and thick and soft. That's what she said. <laughs> let's see if we get the eyebrow. Oh, okay, minor eyebrow raise, minor eyebrow raise. Wow, you just wanna see the inside of it? Ooh, Dang. nice. <laughs> okay, okay. So what are you giving it? You're gonna I know, I'm thing. just eating the whole thing. I'm Tell gonna give the breadsticks a nine. Wow. Oh, it's so really nine. good breadsticks, yeah. Okay, guys, so you hear it here. She agrees with me. This is the best pizza in the area. <laughs> I didn't say that. Maybe the breadsticks. Okay. Well, as you guys can see, the weather is getting a little bit gnarly out here. So I think we're gonna hold off on doing the herb garden for today. Yes. But we do have another surprise once we get to the house. I feel like it's just a long time coming. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna eat the rest of this pizza because it's very delicious. I am blown away. So what is this, Circle K? We did it, Circle K. And yes, it's for real. Mm -hmm. Okay, as promised, I'm gonna just show you guys a couple of the Hot Wheels and the other brands from my collection because you're always asking me, which ones am I looking for? Which ones am I trying to find when I'm out and about? So we talked a little bit about stuff when I was at Target or the other stores, but here is an Auto World, the 7-Eleven, the one that got me in the game. Here's the regular, and then here is the Ultra Red. So as you can see, the wheels are white as we talked about earlier. There's more red paint on it, and that would be the Chase version. In regards to the Hot Wheels, I said at Walmart there's the Zamac version. So right there you can see it says Zamac and it's all metal version of this car. So here's the regular, there's the Zamac. When you're looking at Hot Wheels, there's also things called treasure hunts, and the way to find treasure hunts is behind the actual car, you will have that little logo. It's gonna tell you that congratulations, you found a treasure hunt, and that's how you know. So this one is gonna be from the L case. So if you find ones that have the last letter L, this is what you're looking for for the treasure hunt. Matchboxes, as we talked about, you have that white box behind it. This is one of my favorite matchboxes that I have, a little cool BMW. But the Super Chase, which you actually, it says right there, Super Chase, but it's not gonna have the white border around it. So let's get back to the vlog. We're back home. And since we didn't get a garden today, but we'll do that soon, I wanted to show you guys these flowers I picked up at Trader Joe's the other day, and they are so stinking pretty. I've never seen these flowers before, and I picked them out because they look exactly like cabbage. I think they're so neat. Look how pretty these are. If you guys know the name of them, leave them in the comments because I threw away the paper that said uh, the name. But look, it's like the same size as my hand. It's so crazy. Wow. Isn't that just so pretty? And they don't smell. So it's probably perfect for people who have allergies or you know allergic to flowers. But this one also, this beautiful orchid my mom got me. <laughs> Very beautiful. Yeah. And as you can tell, we still have up our Christmas tree, Lego tree up. <laughs> you still got it. And still got the fishies. The little fishies. Okay, so now. Yes, so Jared brought home this Christmas gift from our dear, dear friend, Chris. Um, I know you guys watched on the podcast that he ended up giving the boys a pop, what is it called, a pop Funko? Pop Funko. Pop, pop Funko. So I'm hoping that's what it is, but I'm really excited to find out. So let's take a look. And I will say that Chris was very adamant in saying that there was limited options. Almost, I feel like he thought you were gonna be offended by whatever it looks like. Uh, well now it's like, I'm even more excited. Okay, I almost don't even wanna see it. So you guys can see it first. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it super Wait, let's see. Hold it up to your head. Let's see okay. if like we can even tell the difference. <laughs> Let's see here. Who's the real Sandy and who's the Pop Funko? Okay, there's a Pop Funko. Spelled with two E's. He he was true to the YouTube oh, name. Oh, I love it. And there's the real Sandy. My goodness gracious. Pop Funko Sandy. 
Reveal. Look at it. Oh. oh my goodness. I love that. Chris, thank you so much. I absolutely love it. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to send you a text, Chris, right now. I bet I absolutely, absolutely love it. And look, she's like wearing all black, very on brand. Very. What kind of shoes is she rocking? It's looking Ooh. like some little like Converse. This is the best. Thank you so much, Chris. I really, really appreciate it. I love it. I'm going to grab yours. Hold on. I mean, look how cute we look together. Look at that. It's like, it, there we are. <laughs> Boom. Okay, well. We'll just, we'll just have to uh, get little grower and uh, farmer merch or sweaters uh, made for them. <laughs> there you go. Is there is there like already people making clothes for Funko Pops? If not, hit us up. Do Seriously. it. Seriously. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today's vlog. Thank you guys for coming along as we explored archery and Jared went on the hunt and we tested out some amazing pizza. So do we have a question for them? What do we want to know? What was your favorite part of the vlog? What's, what was your favorite part? No, not you for that. Oh, uh, uh, that's right. What's your guys' favorite part? I haven't seen it yet. I haven't edited it yet. <laughs> All right, so what's your guys' favorite part of the vlog? Let us know down below. Let us know if you guys like us uh, tasting some, some different foods. I'm down to try that. All right. All right, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Pull your camera out, get your lens focused. Zoom in closely to capture the